Well, our all Champions League soccer format yesterday yielded only a 2 and 3 record, but still it's a 116 90 and 5 overall run here on the Power 5 with a solid 9 and 5 start to the week. Now, warning, I am going to start today's show with some more soccer. However, from there, it's all American football with plays on both college games for tonight, as well as NFL with Bucks Falcons. Go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Don't be shy about smashing that like button if you agree with me. All right, number one, Europa League. First of two soccer plays today. Roma, around minus 130 against Elfsborg. All things considered, this is a pretty cheap price to fade one of the weakest teams in the entire Europa League field. Elfsborg, a Swedish club for those keeping score at home, obviously hails from the weaker domestic league. They aren't exactly tearing it up in Sweden this season either. Just a plus .44 XGD per 90 minutes. That's expected goal difference. Also, we're talking about a squad with a transfer market value of just $23.3 million. To put that in perspective... Roma has a transfer market value of $338.5 million. So uh, they're paying a lot more for the players. A much more talented squad for Roma, who uh, even if they choose to rotate the starting 11 a, a little bit, sit some key guys, Roma should win here. Elfsburg really should have been beaten worse than 3-2 by Alkmaar in their U Europa League opener. Shots on goal there were 17-3. The XG battle, remember XG's expected goals, 2.7 to 0.1, both in Alkmaar's favor, obviously. Also, Elfsborg will be uh, both without their top defender and starting goalkeeper here. Uh, they're up against it. Give me Roma. All right, one more in the Europa League for today. By the way, both these matches start at 3 p.m. Eastern. I like the over in Lyon Rangers. Uh, shop around. You should be able to find a 2.5, hopefully without too much juice. I'd say you could even play this at over 3. I project 4 goals. Uh, this should be a pretty wide-open match. Uh, under Pierre uh, Seiji, Lyon has been one of the best attacking teams in France. They average 1.49 XG per 90 in Ligue 1. Thought the Europa League opener against Olympiacos should have had uh, more goals scored in it than it did. Now they're facing a Rangers side that had 17 shots on goal and created 2.6 XG themselves against Malmo. Uh, considering the opponent, the fact Lyon have scored at least two goals themselves in four of their last five matches overall, this one's got over written all over it. All right, let's talk some college football for Thursday night. I'm taking the dog in Texas State, Troy. My power ratings show the spread here should be closer to one touchdown rather than two. Road favorite Texas State coming off a crushing loss at Sam Houston State last week. More on that in just a little bit. G.J. Kinney's team has concerns defensively. They've now allowed 27 or more points in three of the four games this season. Nationally, the Bobcats rank 109th on defense in SP+. That's pretty much right where they were ranked last season. Now, Troy has been really disappointing so far. No doubt about that. They come in tonight with a 1-4 straight up record. But two of those losses were by a total of just six points. And the other two were against Iowa and Memphis. So no shame in losing there. The combination of what my power ratings say this number should be and that leaky Texas State defense have me taking the points in this one. Troy, plus 13 at home. I like the home dog in Thursday's other college football matchup as well, although this time just for the first half. UTEP, plus 6.5 in the first half versus Sam Houston State. Let's talk about what Sam Houston State was able to do last week at home versus Texas State. I teased this just a minute ago uh, in breaking down the other game. The Bearcats, Sam Houston State, trailed 22 to nothing after the first quarter against Texas State. They are down 39-21 in the second half before roaring back and kicking the game-winning field goal with just six seconds to go. This is the ultimate letdown spot for Sam Houston State on a short week. It's a bad defensive team. Probably not worthy of being in this price range, at least on the road. Remember, Sam Houston State started 0-8 last year, their first season in the FBS. UTEP isn't good. Not going to try to convince you they are good. But they are rested off of by the Miners. And I'm expecting a strong start from Scotty Walden's team. So take the points, plus 6.5 at DraftKings in the first half. Now, let's touch on the NFL game. I've got a play on the side I'll be telling you about in just a minute. But let's talk about the total first. I like the under 44 in this NFC South matchup between the Buccaneers and Falcons. Atlanta coming off a high-scoring 28-26 win over another division rival, New Orleans, here at home. However, 
a very misleading final in the sense the Falcons' two touchdowns were a pick six and a fumble recovery in the end zone off a muffed punt. They also had four field goals of 40 or more yards, including a 58-yard game winner that was set up by a pass interference call. Not for that game-winning drive against the Eagles way back when, uh, week two on Monday Night Football, the Falcons would not have topped 17 points in any of their first three games. So offensive concerns for them. However, a lot of injury issues on both sides of the ball for Tampa Bay here. Atlanta has some of their own injury issues as well, including uh, their starting center. But uh, you look at Tampa Bay's injury issues, a lot of them uh, clustered at wide receiver. As many of you know, I've never been a big Baker Mayfield guy. I remain skeptical about this Bucks offense moving forward. Did not have much early down success last season. A lot of third down voodoo from Mayfield. The last three weeks of Thursday Night Football, we've seen a total of 41, 27, and 35 total points scored. Tonight, should be somewhere in that same range. Under 44 is my play. All right, let's now recap the Power 5. In case if you missed anything or forgot, we started in the Europa League. Roma, minus 130 against Elfsborg. Then we like the over 2.5, even like it at over 3 in Lyon Rangers. College football. We like Troy plus 13 and a half at home versus Texas State. We like UTEP at home plus six and a half in the first half against Sam Houston State. And then in the NFL game, under 44 bucks Falcons. Again, go ahead, comment down below with your thoughts on any and all of those plays and feel free to let me know what you're planning on betting Thursday. I always like to see that. Now, if you missed my $5 play back on Tuesday, you can still get it at my page, wt.buzz slash bp, albeit now at full price, $25. It's not. It's my first NFL side for week five. I'm 80%, eight and two, with NFL sides through the first four weeks of the season. I think you're really going to like this one. It's on the Thursday night football game. Yes, I am playing the Thursday night football game, Bucks falcons I've got to play on the side Head over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. My only client play yesterday was a 4% best bet in the MLB playoffs. And it was a winner on the San Diego Padres who held on. I was pretty nauseous watching that all the way through. But we get the W. Now, if you're looking to get on board for a full week, you are in luck. Because right now, you can grab a 7-day all-access pass for just $77. That will give you all of my NFL, college football, MLB, and soccer plays for a full week. No coupon code is needed. You just go to wt.buzz slash bp. Again, I'm number two in NFL this season. Number two with all football. Number one in soccer. It's going all the way back to April, up over 43 units. So lots and lots of reasons to be excited about this weekend in my world. Over the next 24 hours, you will start to see me roll out more plays for the weekend, including my top NFL selection. And of course, if you're not subscribed already to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, why are you not subscribed? Uh, I've got you covered daily with the Power Five, and every Monday through Friday, it's me and Mark Zinno doing the Morning Wager. Two great shows for you uh, in the morning, and that is going to do it for this one, the Thursday edition of the Power Five. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already, and until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.